What's good, YouTube? Dom, Steven Sports Cards here, back with another video. Hope you're all doing well. And man, was the end to the Major League Baseball regular season epic. That Mets Berets first game of the doubleheader is the runaway favorite for game of the year. Uh, and the second game had a lot of excitement as well. Uh, so really awesome there as both teams were able to punch their ticket to the wild card round, which so far has had some really nice performances. I think there's a lot of teams that made it this year that have a chance to really go on a run uh, and make some noise and surprise some people. Uh, so I will be following that very carefully uh, as a baseball fan, but as well as with my solo shot sports podcast, I'll leave a link to that in the description uh, I'll be covering every week playoff baseball the recaps uh, at, at the end of every round. I'll be doing an episode and kind of recapping and making my uh, kind of analysis and picks for the next round. Uh, so it's super exciting uh, and just really, really awesome. It, the end of the regular season also meant a lot of awards. The pitching triple crown was won in both leagues uh, by Tariq Skubal and Chris Sale, who are both the runaway favorites for the Cy Young Award. Uh, Luis Arise won his third straight batting title for a third different team, uh, just edging out Shohei Otani, who went 50-50 and almost won a triple crown to go along with it. Uh, really, really awesome. The sport of baseball is in such a good spot right now, and this is just a fantastic time of the year because football is starting to get underway. You're starting to see what these teams are made of in the NFL, but baseball really has center stage, in my opinion, in the sporting world right now in the month of October, uh, and is just such an amazing time. And make sure if you're not following the games or catching a game on the radio or on TV that you do so during this playoff run. It will be must-see TV. From a hobby perspective, there's been a lot of great conversations lately about focus. And I pride myself as being someone that doesn't have a laser focus. I don't have a spreadsheet or a checklist that I adhere to and stick to at all times. I'm very opportunistic. I'm very open to finding deals and finding new cards and things that I want to add to my collection. And I want to be able to have funds ready for those things. I have talked about on previous videos how my goal for the next year or so will be to add a Sandy Koufax autograph to the collection, and that will be a nice chunk of money for me at least. I know some people uh, can pick one of those up uh, without blinking an eye, uh, but for me, it'll be a pretty big pickup. So in the meantime, while I save for that, I've been trying to pick my spots and going back to my roots, like the things that I truly love, the, the cards that I truly enjoy, this kind of stuff that I want to be picking up. In the meantime, not just stuff to check a box. And while these, while this first one does check a box, it's a card that I absolutely love and I got from your good friend and mine, Brian over at B-Raw 6. He had an amazing haul at the Philly show. I was unfortunately not able to attend this time around, but I hope to attend one in the near future. And he ended up scoring this 1952 Burke Ross, Mini Minoso rookie. Absolutely stunning. This bad boy does have a staple hole, so a two-for-one Mookie special at the bottom. But that's why I was able to afford it. Otherwise, the registration for Burke Ross's, which is always a little fuzzy, really nice. You have all four borders. I always say with this set and this card especially, if you have any top border, you're doing all right because a lot of them are cut off. Uh, and these were in panels of two cards, so they were not necessarily the uh, creme de la creme in terms of production quality. Uh, but this is a really nice example, and it checks another box in my Minoso PC. Uh, one of my favorite players to collect, a guy that I really admire and was super, super thrilled when he got elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. I was upset that he didn't get to experience that for himself, but I will continue to uh, collect him and extend the legacy and story of Arrestus Mini Minoso. So that's one of his non tops rookie cards from that year. There's a few more that I would like to pick up down the road. And I look at this vintage sales thread on Twitter every Wednesday evening. I've, I've talked about it for 
years at this point. Uh, it's been going on for a long time. Card story um, on Twitter or X, if some of you refer to it that way. Uh, to me, it'll always be Twitter. Usually, I'm just window shopping. Occasionally, if I find a really cool piece or a really good deal, I'll pounce on something. And I was blown away and had to double take the price on this. I got this 1984 Fleer. Carl Yastrzemski, autographed, already slabbed up, certified by Beckett, for $35 shipped. On card, strong autograph, color matches with this Fleer set. It has all of his career stats on the back for $35. Now, there's not many players that I would say that I want more than one autograph of. Usually one is more than enough for me in the autograph world. Occasionally, there will be an exception made for a really amazing deal or a really amazing piece with an autograph involved. But Carl Yastrzemski is one of the few player exceptions where whenever I'm able to find a really good deal or just a piece I really love, I'm willing to pick it up. And for $35 already authenticated, I will do this all day. And it is just a stunning autograph on his final card with all his stats. I'm not sure if that'll lean back too much, but two of my absolute hobby favorites um, to collect, Mini Minoso and Carl Yastrzemski. And I think that's just a great piece of advice for anybody who's doing something like me right now where they're putting funds aside for a bigger goal uh, or uh, money is tight with the holidays coming up. Focus on the stuff you truly, truly love. Um, they're all wants at the end of the day, but uh, being able to pick up items of players like this that I really connect to and really appreciate, uh, those mail days always hit different. So I appreciate each and every one of you who stopped by uh, and caught this. Uh, definitely check out some playoff baseball this week. Definitely check out the podcast if you haven't already. Uh, and I will be back next week with another video. Peace.